Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and welcome to Mask Monday. It is late, late in the day. I'm just now getting around to filming my Mask Monday, and so I'm going to just do a quick one tonight. And but I need to exfoliate, so I'm going to use a chemical uh, peel. This is a uh, one I received recently. I've used it one time and I would like to use it again. And it's from Code Edge, the mask micro peeling mask. So I'm just gonna go right in with this, apply this to my face. It only takes 10 or 15 minutes and usually about 10 minutes for me. And I got one other use on this before and I was hoping maybe to get three uses out of it, but it may just be two. So it was only like um, 0.55 fluid ounces. So anyway, I want to apply it pretty liberally because my skin really needs a good peel. So anyway, I thought I'd just come on here with this and let this work its magic and talk to you guys for a second and then go and wash it off and then take pictures and just put the results in my thumbnail anyway we just got back from a week of weekend of traveling and I'm tired today but I did take a nap so I feel better and uh, we cooked some food and prepared some salad and you know just my husband was off from work so we just kind of worked ahead in the food department and that way tomorrow we can he can really just come home from work and just you know wind down and just chill and not have to worry about you know doing much of anything around the house and um, you know the meal food is the food for the meal is already prepared and and we can just warm it up and eat salad and you know play with the dog and you know, you know how it is after you travel. You just need a, a day to unwind sometimes. And so we didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Uh, we didn't really, we ate, we tried to eat the best that we could. Um, I find that when we're out on the road, that Subway is a good place to get a salad. And uh, so rather than stopping at McDonald's and, you know, eating uh, high uh, carb foods, you know, I'm trying to stick to keto, although I did go over my uh, carb limit, especially on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we went to a Mexican restaurant, and I didn't eat the rice or the beans or any of the chips, <clears throat> but I did eat the meat and the guacamole and the sour cream and the pico de gallo, which all of that's keto friendly, but I ate three tortillas, and then, of course, there's snacks in the van, because, you know, you're bored and there's not a whole lot to do on the road except for lunch. And so even though I'm trying to eat keto-friendly snacks like pumpkin seeds or pistachios or things like that, I still wound up going over my daily allotment. So um, it wasn't enough to, like, gain weight, but I certainly, you know, didn't lose any for that day. So anyway, I'm just kind of coasted through the weekend pretty much. I uh, tried to drink. It was a challenge for me to get plenty of water seemed like I was so thirsty. It was beautiful weather. It wasn't really hot or anything. It was just like perfect weather, clear skies. And so it wasn't like I was real hot and sweaty, but I just felt dehydrated. And my skin was dry and flaky. I had just this constant, um, you know, thirst going on. You know, I just needed water, water, water. So speaking of water, I'm going to open this bottle of water right here. And I'm gonna sip on it a little bit and try to replenish. Um, that's what I've been trying to do is just replenish everything I lost over the weekend. Where we stayed at, it was a nice Airbnb house. Um, because I sleep in a chair, Terry and I usually crash in the main room of the house, the living area, and we let the others have the bedrooms. And so Anyhow, there wasn't really uh, a recliner, per se, um, that would, you know, that was comfortable. And so I just tried to, you know, make do with uh, what was available. There was a chase lounge. It really wasn't long enough. It was like a, a chair with a footrest all connected, but it wasn't long enough. 
and uh, it was a kind of fabric that was kind of um, like a suede and it was hard to slide in and out of it and so uh, that was you know and it sat really low to the ground so I you know that was an uncomfortable piece of furniture and then Terry slept on the sofa so I did you know settle back into the easy chair that was there but it the footrest part you know just didn't hold my legs it kept wanting to slide down and so I just slept with my feet uh, down they weren't elevated and so my ankles and my feet got kind of swollen uh, through the night but it you know all that water came off uh, yesterday and um, so anyhow it's just um, you know you think in your mind when you're going through things like this you're like it's only one night it's only one night I can do this it's only one night but you don't sleep well you know what I mean so even though you're asleep, it's like because you're not leaning back, your head's like tilting to the side. So you have a little crick in your neck and then of course you have to deal with the swollen feet and all that stuff. But anyway, this is just some of the things that I face when we travel and if the uh, places that we stay aren't really as accommodating as I need for them to be. And um, so, but you do the best that you can. I mean, you know, there's only two Airbnbs nearby where we stayed at and both of them are pretty much they're owned by the same owner and they're furnished pretty much the same way and so anyhow it's just uh it's a challenge but i love i love doing what we do and it's worth every sacrifice you know to see lives changed and people's um prayers answered and you know all of uh the ministry that takes place you know as we go and as we do so anyhow this weekend was really super special uh, there's lots of uh, if you follow me on Facebook you can see pictures you know from the ministry events and um, our team member uh, Vicki Vicki C week she posts she takes all the photos and films a lot of the videos and she puts all of that you know she tags me on it so it's on my timeline and everything and then uh, <clears throat> Brother Bill's preaching and then of course all of us working in um, the altars, you know, and praying for people and everything. It was a very, very exciting weekend. All right, well let me, um, I'm going to, I feel this tingling, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to wait the 10 minutes if I can and then I'm going to just um, go wash my face and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put on um, some hydrating type products. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I like this mask. I just think it's a really good one. Um, I would really like to have a full size. I like a chemical peel. I just, It just works for me. It really does. So anyway, I'm going to go in. I think I may have another use in here. I don't know if I use it. You know how you have to like bend the package over to get that last little bit out. I believe I'll have enough. So anyway, I'm going to go in with a sleep serum because this is at night time and I like this. It's triple action hyaluronic acid from mine and I really like this serum and so anyway, since I just used AHAs on my skin, which are rather mild, they're, uh, it's a mild exfoliant. Um, I don't need anything special like a recovery serum but I do want to hydrate so I'm going to use this one for because it has hyaluronic acid in it and then I've got this eye cream from Dr. Lily Fan I've had it for a while and I took it with me when we were traveling and there's just a little tiny bit left and so I'm trying to use it up so I'm just going to go in with this underneath my eyes and it's kind of thick because I have had it for a while so it's important to go ahead and use it up and since it is thick it's going to hydrate my eyes pretty good I feel and then I can you know use a thinner one tomorrow or something hopefully I don't think I'm going to use this up today but anyway for the month of June most of what we're doing is going to be around these parts and so I won't have to travel and spend the night anywhere not that I know of at this point anyway something could pop up for later on in the month but the first uh, three 
the first two weekends of the month, I know that I'm not going to be going out of town. But anyway, Sweet Pea did really, really well at the Pickwick Babysitters, the Pickwick Nannies, Pet Nannies. That's what the name of it. It's really good. So anyway, it was a holiday weekend, and they said they were busy. They had a lot of dogs there, but she did really, really good. And, uh, you know, they, um, the gentleman that works there, it's him and his wife, but anyway, he, um, he just has fallen in love with her and she's you know she likes him too and so she slept with him and he said that she slept you know right near his head and everything so anyway she came home today smelling like his cologne <laughs> ah, anyway it was so cute you know she smelled so good and everything and I was really pleased with um, you know how good they take care of sometimes they send videos or pictures and let me see you know what she's up to and you know maybe another dog or two that she's interacting with or she's formed a bond with or whatever uh, that she's playing with and so it's almost like a play date for her and I'm really pleased with um, you know their <clears throat> their care all right I'm gonna go in with a um, Andalou Naturals Night Repair Cream. This is one I've had for a while and it is an organic product and I am trying to use it up. It's in my uh, project pan, my advent calendar project pan. I'm right at the end of it so I just want to, I'm trying to use up some stuff. I have tons of new things but I'm trying to use up a few things before I open all those. And I even have other things that are not in my project pan that are open, you know, that I want to use. But anyway, this is good. Put something organic on. I like organic products. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you like them. So anyway, just a little organic moisturizer here. And that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Just a little serum, eye cream, and, and a moisturizer. And I'll let this eye cream just really do its job. And the good thing about this mask is that it continues to work even after you've washed it off. The, the molecules that penetrated into your skin continue to work throughout the night. And so it helps to exfoliate, brighten your skin anti-aging and um, all those dead flakes you know that come off the last time I applied my foundation which was uh, yesterday morning I noticed that it didn't really look right on my skin because I had so much uh, dry skin flaking off and I didn't have time to exfoliate and it just here I was out of town we're guests at you know another church and I'm not really feeling or looking my best is for in the foundation area so I tried to blend it out as best as I could and just get by for the day you know what I'm saying but I was like first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is I'm going to exfoliate so I had it in my mind all day that I was going to uh, use an exfoliating mask for, for mask Monday so but anyway I wish I had more time to spend with you guys but it's just one of those one of those days where you just want to recoup and and uh, and just rest so anyway I'm gonna call the video short I love you guys don't forget about um, me and Katie's giveaway I've got this box of goodies it ends tonight and I'm just gonna give you a, uh, just a peek of all the stuff that's inside of it and so anyway, we'll be counting up the votes or the, you know, the names and everything for the drawing tomorrow. So make sure you get in here and, uh, you know, that way we can include you in. Uh, the link to our videos, you have to comment on both of our videos. And uh, I'll leave the link in the description below where you can participate. All right, that's it from me tonight, y'all. I love you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Today is my prayer, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.